any man or woman who has somewhere in their heart long lodged a longing to in one way or another <clears throat> transcend their present level of understanding their own present possibilities, which for a human being that was natural in this world, that would be natural to them. They're going to run into something that we call discouragement. How many of you get discouraged? Discouragement of any form is always a lie, 100% a lie. But we don't know that it's a lie because we're so used to falling into that dark state that we never even question the appearance of something that by its painful presence in us is telling us, give up. No point in going forward from here. And that's why without higher self-knowledge, new wisdom, a man or woman can't possibly get past that giant of discouragement, that state of self that appears in us, and listen carefully now, as if the moment where we missed the mark could have been different. We become discouraged when we see ourselves not live up to some image or an idea that we have. When a moment comes along and we can't succeed as imagined in that moment. And we never suspect that the discouragement belongs to, the, to an imagined self that sees itself as more or greater than it is in that moment when the very lesson of not being able to accomplish what we set out to accomplish is an invitation to meet a certain part of ourselves so that we can begin to realize if we're willing to do so that that moment of discouragement isn't telling us that all moments going forward have to be that way but that if we want the moments we're going to come into to be different we're going to have to change something about our understanding of the purpose of that moment. See, discouragement tells us the purpose of the moment is to show you there's no possibility beyond this point. That's what discouragement tells you. And I want you to understand that discouragement is a voice, is a, a state, a certain low presence inside of a person that exists to prove to that person that they are other than they've imagined themselves to be when the task is to transcend this imagined nature. This part of us that points and says, see, because why? Because you can't get discouraged without having been judged. And who is it that's judging you? Who is it that judges you when you feel discouraged? It is something that lives inside of you that presently tells you, you are greater than what you just did. And instead of recognizing the pain of that moment is produced by that nature, to use the very moment when it shows itself, which it does through discouragement, to realize, ah, I got you. I see you now. You want me to stop here. You want me to give it up now. And why would we ever listen to anything tell us that we need to give something up when we have a longing to go forward with it? Because that nature doesn't want you to outgrow yourself because it can't go with you into the new world that that new understanding is intended to introduce you to. That's what discouragement is about. Don't you believe in it anymore? <laughs>